Modeling has got categories from fashion, commercial, glamour modeling, among many others. Lillian Ruzindana is a 22 year old Ugandan model who says modeling is good because it gives one exposure. The downside, though, agents pay too little for the model's input, ranging from 30,000 to 50,000 shillings, or even no pay, yet the agent apparently gets paid quite much. Usually, you get paid between uh, 200,000 if you are a good model and someone out there that people know you because me being a queen has earned me a little bit of status so they get to see your work and recognize it so your pay is usually different from the rest. Before the gigs that I used to do in the nightclubs in the world they would give you like 50,000 a night. A working model in Uganda, I'll tell you the truth. Right now, most of the working models that do runway shows are paid in between 150, 100, 200,000. Some of the reasons as to why modeling as an industry is still struggling is that it has been widely associated with sex and promiscuity. There's so many agencies that are coming up that are not professional, agencies that don't know what they're doing, so they take advantage of these little young girls and boys. And You go to work for, let me say, a fashion designer. At the end of the day, they are not interested in what you're going to do at the runway, but they're interested in you as a person. Also, the people with perfect model bodies are usually not willing to get involved with the modeling industry, leaving it to the desperate, not-so-good bodies. Models do not enjoy the conservative African's luxury of dignity. As to this African, models are used as mannequins or a statue to display fashion. But you realize that if you're a working fashion model, designers dictate what you're wearing. That's the whole thing. Even internationally, as a model, you're just a canvas. You're just a dummy. You're just a plain dummy. Uh, I do commercial modeling where I, I've done a number of billboards and uh, I've done runway shows. And I'm into the beauty pageant, the beauty world, so I'm all around. These two also say that it is false allegations that most models are school dropouts and failures in life. You know, most of them go to school. You'll even realize most of the models that we have currently, you must be learned because they do castings. When I say castings, castings in modeling are like job interviews. Before you book any job, you have to do a casting. This report for TNR is compiled by Dias Warugembe.